what's going on everyone we are back with another video and today we have a simulation video um kind of like what if um we are seeing what would happen if every point guards overall was based off of their playmaking attribute uh now this is kind of hard to do because there isn't one singular playmaking attribute you know there's a lot of things that go into their uh playmaking which is like anything to do with they have like pass anything to do with passing I, I don't know what the specific um attributes are but if we go to westbrook here we can go to his attributes and see what affects it um things like pass accuracy i think ball handling does speed with ball hands pass iq pass vision all those things i'm pretty sure offensive consistency probably affects it too uh, but yeah those are all the things that affect it so it's kind of hard to do it based off of a playmaking attribute rating um, because you, I don't actually, there isn't one that says just playmaking. So what I did was I went to every player's grades and based off of their playmaking rating, um, was how I, uh, gave them their overall rating. So if you had an A plus playmaking rating, you are a 96 overall. If you had an A, you are a 90. If you had an A minus, you're an 84. And then if you were B plus, you were a 78, I believe. Um, once I put the rosters in, the over, some, a couple overalls changed by like one overall. I don't know why. Maybe it's it, it's just the like chemistry or whatever. I don't really know. Even though I took chemistry off, but there's stuff that affects players' rings that'll like boost it or lower it one overall. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how it is. So uh, everybody for the most part is gonna be like 96, 90, 84, 78. And again, we only went down to there because you know the lowest playmaking rating was a B plus, uh, which is kind of shocking. Um, but, uh, if we go to coach game plan, we're at the 76ers first, we got Ben Simmons, who's actually an A minus, which is a little bit surprising. So he's only going to be an 84 overall. Um, for the most part, everybody went up, but there were a couple people who did go down. Ben Simmons being one of them for the Bucks, We have Drew Holiday who did, uh, who was an 83. I want to say went up to an 84. And then I don't know because of the chemistries or whatever. He is an 85 overall now. For the Bulls, we got Kobe White, who stayed at a 78. I was actually really surprised uh, that he'd only be a 78. Uh, he was one of, I think, two people um, who's a 78 overall. He might be the only one. Uh, we got Darius Garland, who uh, was an A-, minus, bumped up to an 84. Uh, I think he was like a 78 beforehand. And again, I'm going based off of like if rosters are healthy. So there's going to be some players who aren't playing right now. Um... I just I just went off of if nobody was injured, so. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely a huge improvement for the Cavs, especially since the Cavs are good at 2K. Celtics, Kemba Walker, I think had the biggest overall jump. His playmaking is an A plus, so he's up to a 96, and that makes this roster absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, this is uh, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, for the Clippers, we got uh, Patrick Beverly, who was the other guy at a 78, and I don't know why it says he's a 79, especially because it doesn't show like an overall boost, but uh, it's whatever. Uh, do doesn't really affect it at all. I forget what he was before. I, I want to say he was like a 77 before or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, now we got the Grizzlies, John Morant at a 90 overall, so he was an A. Um, gave him like five overalls, uh, so that's really nice. Uh, Hawks, Trey Young, another guy with an A-plus playmaking rating. Um, he actually got, to, to change it, his overall was like a 90. To get it up to a 96, you can see, like, everything I had to change. Like, I changed a lot. Like, it wasn't just, like, you know, upping someone's, like, passing, like, 10 overalls, and they boosted, like, to a 96 overall. You had to upgrade him a lot. Or you could, I could have given him badges to help him, I'm pretty sure. But... For the Heat, we got Goran Dragic. Um, he's up to an 84 overall. He was already an 81 or an 82, so not a huge difference. Lamelo Ball up to an 84 overall. Got a nice six overall boost. Uh, starting to become a really well-rounded lineup now, honestly. Uh, for the Jazz, we got Mike Conley going up to an 84. I believe he was also an 82 overall. Um, so not anything significant, but you know what? It's a little, it's a little bit better. Uh, for the Kings, we got De'Aaron Fox. He boosted to a 90 overall. I don't know why it says 91. Uh, but yeah, we boosted him to a 90 overall. So that is a pretty solid improvement. 5-6 overall boost. Uh, we got the Net Knicks. Sorry, Alfred Payton. Huge overall boost. I want to say, I think he was a 77 beforehand. So he had a huge 
boost. I'm kind of surprised his playmaking isn't an A. If we're being realistic, like he's 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 consistently been six and a half or more in assists. Um, if we look at other guys, I don't really like. I want to say, um, Kemba Walker. What's his assist looking like? Like, look at his assists. His are lower than Alfred Payton, but his playmaking was an A plus. So I don't really, I don't, I two, I mean, two K caps all the time with stuff. You know, they have to make ratings to make it. Like, obviously, Alfred Payton is not as good as Kemba Walker, and it's not even close. But stats don't lie. Anyway, we're to the Lakers now. We got Dennis Schroeder, um, eighty four overall. Um, a guy who, yeah, the past two years not great, but like he had those six assist season so i don't know kimball walker being at an a plus dan Schreer being at an a minus don't really like that but the lakers are going to be crazy now with with their big three uh we got marco Fultz over here with uh at an 84 overall so really no weakness in their starting lineup and their bench i mean they got terrence ross coming off the bench so not terrible mavericks luca back up to a 96 i want to say he reached a 96 at last point at last year or maybe he was a 94 i don't know but he's like a 93 right now so it this boosted him back up to a 96 which is nice obviously not anything significant but Kyrie irving up to a 96 overall a nice i want to say like five four or five overall boost very very nice probably one of the best probably the best duo now in the nba well i mean sub lebron and ad um but so second best duo or first best do however you look at it jamal murray actually went down um i want to say he was like an 86 so he got a little overall downgrade and his shooting is actually still not bad i thought i i thought i decreased decreased his shooting maybe i'd decrease something else but i don't know uh we got the pacers here malcolm brogdon up to a 90 overall this is a really nice team too yeah i absolutely love the pacers team pelicans alonzo ball up to an 84 pelicans always do really solid in these sims uh, so Lonzo going up to an 84, being a great shooter now. Um, who knows what's going to happen. Pistons, Derrick Rose up to a 90 overall. This is all I'm saying. Like, Derrick Rose, like, five and a half, four. That doesn't really count. But four and a half, five, five, four. But he, like, like, come on. Alfred Payton probably should have had an A+. Plus. If Derrick Rose has an A playmaking, I think Alfred Payton should have an A+. Plus. But, um... That's obviously really nice. Uh, Raptors, Kyle Lowry up to a 90 overall. Like, Kyle Lowry's playmaking is a lot better than Derrick Rose's. It's just plain facts. Derrick Rose should have been an A minus at best. Playmaking probably should have been B plus. I don't know. Uh, but, like, how, how how does Kyle Lowry not have an A plus playmaking? That is absolutely crazy to me. Uh, we got the Rockets here. Uh, John Wall up to a 90 overall. John Wall, too. Like, Playmaking is literally his thing. It's literally his thing. He should have an A+. Plus, like, no contest. He should have an A+. Plus. But uh, that duo is actually really scary. Uh, we got the Spurs here. Uh, DeJounte Murray up to an 84 overall. He had like a 4, 3, 4 overall boost. Really nice. Uh, we got the Suns here. Chris Paul up to a 96 overall. That's, I'm going to love to see the Suns team. Thunder. George Hill up to an 84 overall. Um, totally didn't realize he was their starting point guard. I don't actually know if he is their starting point guard, but at least in 2K, uh, that's who is listed as their starting point guard. Uh, D'Angelo Russell's up or down or up. I don't really know where. I don't really remember what his overall was. Um, I think it was like an 85, but maybe not. Um, Trailblazers, Damian Lillard up to a 96. I think it was like a 94 overall, so a little boost there. Uh, Warriors, Steph Curry. I think he was a 95 overall, so he's up to a 96 overall, so nothing really significant there. And then Wizards, Westbrook down to an 84 overall. 10 and a half, 10, 10 and a half, 10 and a half, 8 and a half, 7, 7 and a half, 5 and a half, 8, 8, 5, 8. First career. How is Westbrook's playmaking not at least an A? Should be an A+. Like, it should be an A+. Plus. There should not be any contest. It's unbelievable. Yo, looking at shooting percentages, they've been really ass the past three years. Like, 
This was his... Was this his MVP season? No. This was his MVP season. Yeah. So his overall shooting was bad, but his three-point shooting was really good that year. Damn. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's all the teams with the new point guards as far as who I think is going to win. Lakers, obviously, are a huge favorite. I mean, just improving any person around AD and LeBron is going to help them a bunch. Um, other than that, I think the Celtics got the biggest boost, them and the Suns, obviously. So Celtics could be very scary, um, especially since they always do good in these Suns. And then the Pelicans are always really scary now that, you know, your weakest starter is now an 84 overall. That's pretty good. All right, we're here at the end of the season. The Wizards at least went 24 and 58, which is god awful. Lamelo Ball had a great rookie season, 20, five and a half and five, and his shooting efficiencies were really good. So that's always really good. Uh, Spencer Dinway didn't have any upgrades. Darius Garland, most improved player, 21, four and seven, absolutely crazy. Sam Van Gundy, coach of the Pelicans. Uh, let's see who we have. We have Luca and Trey Young. We have Kyrie Irving and Steph Curry. And we got Ben Simmons and Lillard. There were no shooting guards that made the All-NBA teams. That's how crazy it was. Ben Simmons defensively is still amazing. Then Chris Paul and Drew Holiday. Um, let's go to standings real fast to see what happened. Doesn't look like anybody blew out the league. Anything surprising? Miami Heat, Goran Dragic helped a lot. Brooklyn Nuts actually were way worse than I thought they'd be. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks, 76ers, Cavs, yeah. Raptors, Magic. Hawks, thought would have been a little bit better. That, sh oh, wait. Derrick Rose? No way. No way. That's crazy. That's crazy. The Bulls were actually like the worst. Oh, my God. The Thunder are trash, bro. Wow. Um, Nothing really surprising over here either. I thought the Suns would be a little bit better. Um. Let's go to league leaders, uh, but we'll just look at point guards because that's all we care about. As far as scoring, Luka, 35, Lillard, 31 and a half, Trey Young, 29, Irving, 27 and a half, Steph Curry, 27 and a half, De'Aaron Fox up to 25 and a half, Dennis Schroeder up to 24, John Moran up to 24, Ben Simmons up to 24, and then Kemba Walker, 23 and a half. I feel like that's usually what he gets. Yeah. Uh, we got rebounds. I mean, rebounds don't really matter, but Luka at almost 11. Kyrie at 8.5. Ben Simmons at 7.5. Kemba Walker at 7. Russell Westbrook at 7. I mean, you can obviously see, like, these 96 overalls, I had to up their uh, rebounding ratings uh, to get them up to a 96 overall. So, yeah, they grabbed a lot of boards. DeJounte Murray, 6.5. I don't think I upgraded his rebounding, really nor Steph Curry's, but uh, De'Aaron Fox, I feel like I did a little bit, but I'm not sure. Um, assists, Trey Young, Ben Simmons, Luka, Lillard. I mean, the playmaking should have been unreal. Oh my God. Uh, shooting efficiencies. I'd love to see this as like being point guards. I mean, Ben Simmons, you knew, but Ja Morant at 60%. Oh my God, Ja, tell him how you feel. Oh my God. Malcolm Brogdon went off, bro. D Rose. Dennis Schroeder, Marco Fultz. Shooting percentages from three looked amazing for everybody. Oh my god. And then free throw percentages should have looked pretty nice too. Yeah, so shooting was probably, was literally fantastic for these rookies. So um, I'm excited to see what happens here. Uh, we got Lakers, Golden State, New Orleans. Clippers, no big upsets. We did have Toronto over Miami, but I thought Miami was a little bit high anyway. Seems like the second round, we got Lakers, Pelicans, Boston, Brooklyn. This is actually kind of this is what I thought was going to happen. Um, I thought the Suns would have been a little bit better, but um, seems like this round and Lakers destroyed the Pelicans. Oh, only beaten by one in the closeout. That's always painful. I did Lonzo play in the playoffs. Eh, shooting efficiencies were good. His tendencies are just low for shooting. He's just a pass first guard and that's something i didn't change that kind of wish i did change a little bit because of everybody's ratings increasing i wish i increased you know people's shot tendencies uh just because i think that would have made it more interesting um then schroeder averaging 23 in the playoffs yeah, that's pretty crazy as far as over here the celtics kemba walker was averaging 22 and a half so he's a little bit down and his efficiency is down kind of significantly uh kyrie irving kind of dropped the ball in the last game 
uh, but overall in the playoffs, 28 and a half on fantastic efficiencies. Down a little bit, but at the end of the day, not that much. So that's obviously fantastic. And then Kevin Durant did Kevin Durant things. Now we got Celtics, Lakers. Oh man, and Lakers dominate. LeBron James is your Finals MVP. Wow, wow, Kemba, what'd you do? 21 efficiencies were down. I mean, those aren't bad efficiencies. I want to say that, but just compared to regular the regular season, his efficiencies the efficiencies were down. I thought he was a more efficient shooter. I thought he was a much more efficient shooter. I never realized his, like, field goal percentage was this low. I never knew that. I straight up thought his field goal percentage was, like, 47, 48% in real life. I knew his three-point percentage was always, like, within that range. Well, he was actually a trash. He was kind of trash early in his career. Oh, my God. And he really started developing right there. But anyway... And then Dennis Schroeder, 26, 4, and 5 in the closeout. He averaged 24 throughout the playoffs. Absolutely crazy. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing this probably for every position. I'm not going to do playmaking, obviously. I'm probably going to switch it up a little bit. You know, shooting guard will probably have like three point shooting or something. Maybe mid range shooting. I don't know. Maybe I'll do like mid range for shooting guards and then. I don't know. No. Eh, I don't know. But. Anything to try and get, like, a big, like, range separation. But, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm.